All right, we are, uh, we made it through step 10 of the uh, G-Made R1 buggy with the portal axles, and let me start off first by saying these axles are freaking amazing. Especially having the portal gears in them, giving you the extra ground clearance. There are six gears. Well, if you count the ring and pinion, there's six gears. There's two in each here, two each here, and then two in here for a total of six. And I've got to say, out of all the axles I've ever built, that is the smoothest turning assembly. I'm barely even rotating my hand, using barely any effort, and it is just gliding. And, of course, we've gotten to the front, and no, that is not the servo that's staying on it. That is just for mock-up purposes. A 2075 does not have near enough power to turn the heavy-duty suspension on this one. So, that will be replaced with a high-speed, 208-ounce torque metal gear servo. But... These things are absolutely freaking amazing. I cannot believe how high quality is. This is actual metal diff cover. It's a real chrome plated metal diff. Everything is all Phillips screw so far. It's no Allen head and it goes together extremely easily. So you can see since I've done the servo part, it now goes into building the exo cage of the body. Which, yes, I'm going to paint that one too. That one's going to be a custom color as well. I've yet to figure out what it's going to be. But it will be a pretty cool color for a buggy. I've already got the orange one. I've got the green one. I've got to think of some other wild-ass color to paint this one. Because unlike the last one, this one you actually put the whole chassis together before you assemble anything else into it. Which is beautiful. So that means it's perfect for me because all I got to do is just build the uh, exo cage for it, prime it, paint it, let it sit and dry, boom, ready to start throwing stuff like the transmission in, everything else. It just That makes it so much easier and I believe after seeing, I mean, look how heavy duty these freaking rod links are in the ball ends. They're actually steel ball ends, like Revo spec steel Traxxas ball end style. Oversized uh, rod ends, oversized rods. This is just ridiculously overbuilt, which I love. For the price, uh, I bought this as a kit for I believe two hundred eighty-four dollars. I know I rarely ever talk about prices because I guess that's like kind of a see no evil, hear no evil type thing, but I bought this kit for about 284 and I am so impressed with it, I think I might actually be ordering a couple more of them down the road. That's how impressed I am with this. After I run this will be the true test, but so far everything is passed with flying colors and it's, it, it's super heavy duty rosin built. I mean this thing is, just, this is going to be a dominator on the trails. This thing I don't think is going to have any troubles on the TTC track or anything else I can throw at it. I'm still on the fence with these tires. I might... It depends on how the bead locks go together on them. I might mount up the tires before I do anything else to see how I like them on the black wheels. If I don't like them on those, I might take the mud slingers off of the uh, Rocksters to give it an even more wider wheel stance because this thing already has an 11.4 inch width on it but those tires take up about three inches on each side so that's six inches overall we're gonna see where that sits but for the money I'm gonna try looking other places and if I can find one cheap enough I will definitely buy one and I highly so far this isn't my official saying, hey, you got to go get this, but so far, I out of all the models I've built, all my trucks, this by far has been the most sophisticated and the most thought out and best put together kit so far. I mean, number one, it just looks kick-ass on the box, but 
I mean, just the overall quality of the build is superior to others. I've never seen something that had such a smooth gear engagement. But that's going to be part one of the build, and I'm going on to play some uh, Modern Warfare 3 on 360. Yeah. Uh, if any of the other guys out there play it, uh, my gamer tag is Chaotic Demons 84 with capital C, capital D, and instead of an S on Demons, there's a Z. So add me, and uh, if you want to play, and when you add me, send me if you send me a request, uh, say something like Man Cave or something, so I know who you are. Because if I, I get these, I get gamer friend requests all the time and I have absolutely no freaking idea who the hell they are so I turn them down so make sure you put something like man cave in the description of it or whatever that way I know who you are and you get added and we can play together alright guys I'm out for now